Welcome. Recently I got my hands on this buck converter module for charging phones and USB devices which promises to be quick charge compatible. It even follows QC2 and QC3 charging protocols. So in this video, let us find out whether it is really worth the features. To compare the performance of this quick charge module, I also got myself a buck converter. This buck converter module can accept input voltages ranging from 6 volts all the way up to 40 volts. The buck converter has an additional feature of a built-in display which can give me an idea of the input voltage to this module. Taking a closer look at the quick charge module, we can see the input and the output filter capacitors and the inductor for the buck converter circuit. The control IC presumably controls the buck converter topology and also controls the quick charge protocols. Having a closer look at the module reveals that the control IC is the IP6505. More on that later in this video. Also having a closer look at the 5V buck converter module, we can see that the main control IC for this system is the XL1509. The additional advantage of this module is the built-in display which can allow us to visualize the input voltage for this module. It also features additional buttons for switching on and off the module. The datasheet of IP6505 being in Chinese, I could not figure out much apart from the fact that it supports a large variety of quick charge protocols including QC2 and QC3, also supports a good variety of output voltages based upon the output charging protocol and a total power of 24 watts as output. The datasheet also gives us the circuit diagram for the entire module including the buck converter topology and the pin out of the IP6505. Other necessary informations are also given in the datasheet but since it was in Chinese I could not figure out much. Here is the datasheet for the XL1509 which is a dedicated buck converter IC capable of outputting standard voltages like 3.3V, 5V, 12V and it is also available in adjustable versions. It is a PWM controlled buck converter IC with duty cycle ranging from 0 to 100%. The datasheet clearly gives us the pinout, the pin description, the internal structural diagram of the IC and even the buck converter circuitry. More information can easily be found on the datasheet. To compare the performances of both the modules, I'll be using this USB power meter which can give me the value of voltage and the current with which the module charges any USB device. To start the comparison, I first attached the input wires to both the module, connected them in parallel so that the positive and the negative of both the modules can be attached to this 12V battery pack which will be the power source for this experiment. The battery is at 11.4 volts and plugging in the USB power meter reveals that at no load both the modules output roughly 5 volts. To get an idea of the quick charge functionality of the module, I got myself a phone which I knew supports fast charging. So I got myself a USB cable, plugged in the phone to each of the modules via the USB power meter to get the reading of voltage and current for each module. I first plugged in my phone to the 5V buck converter and as you can see the output voltage is around 4.8V with a current of 450mA. Next I plugged the phone to the fast charging module 
and as you can see the voltage is around 6 volts with a current rating of 1.5 amps that is definitely better than the buck converter To further make sure of the fast charge capabilities of the module, I got myself this tablet PC which I knew also supported fast charging. So again, I plugged in the USB cable and used the fast charge module along with the power meter to test out the power performance. And as you can see, the output voltage is around 7 volts with a current rating of around 1.2 amps. This definitely is indicative of the fast charging protocols of the module. Plugging in the tablet PC to the regular 5V buck converter, the current does not exceed 500mA. Thus, the performance of the quick charge module is definitely better than that of the buck converter module. I hope this video gave you some information on how to choose a buck converter for your USB charging applications. The purchase link and the link to the datasheet will be in the video description. Feel free to share your feedbacks in the comment and I will see you in the next one.